Welcome back to our Recording School online series on side chaining. This is video four. If you haven't watched the previous ones, you might not know what we're doing. So what we're doing here is we've got our side chain set up for our deep kick frequencies that we're adding to the kick. In other words, they're getting triggered every time the kick plays. We've already used our test generator to create the frequency, our gate to tighten it, being controlled by the kick, the tube to add a little harmonic distortion to the kick. And remember now, this is not on the kick track. This is all being created through a test tone, being shaped and frequencies added to the kick. Then we're compressing it. And we're using some parallel compression here um, because the punch allows for that at a high ratio, low threshold. And now what we're going to do is add very tight rooms to the subfrequency while adding a slightly larger space to the, to the actual kick itself. And in this way, we're layering small reverbs just on the kick to make it stand out and have a very interesting uh, and just a very cool sound. So for the reverb that we're going to actually use on the sub-frequencies that are being triggered through side chain from the kick, we're using our own RSO Pure Acoustics, which are actually designed to be used on percussion, kick drums and snares and so forth, and to be very tight spaces. So let's add that. We've got the wood rooms on there. We use number 17. There's several hundred in here to choose from. And this is to be subtle, like all of this is. Subtle though it may be, it really helps the kick to have a place. And since we're adding so much in the deep end, this adds some space around it so it fits better in the mix. Keep in mind, that's only going to be on the frequencies we're adding on the separate tracks, of course, from the initial kick. Now we want to go to that track, the kick track itself. And this is kind of an advanced technique uh, for layering reverbs. We're using two different reverbs. There's our send to our kick effect. Now we're adding the reverence which comes with Cubase. And we're adding a larger reverb with a little bit of tail. Not as uh, large as most reverbs, but just a little bit of a studio space. Just a little. Oh, 
Ah, as you can see, we spice it up quite a bit. Now, it seems fairly complex given all the tricks here, but we did it quite quick. And as you can see, it's quite useful to make to customizing the sound of the kick. Check out the next video on side chaining.